Oh, I, yeah, I absolutely knew that the way it was coming on, it, it was coming on quick and fast. It was... It was It is pretty embarrassing, um, you know, being a former Cleo's most eligible bachelor in the world and to completely letting myself go. A uh, very popular winner, great bloke, Jeff Hugh. You know, I was going down a, a bad spiral. And... He was charged with public nuisance, obstruct police and assault police. I, I did what I did and um, I can't change that. Underworld record split, Ray. Underworld record split. Now they Australian have to swimming back. fans oh, first met Jeff Bugle more than a decade ago. The champion butterfly winning 22 international medals, including Olympic silver and bronze, plus five Commonwealth Games gold. Right he is going after this swim, Jeff Hugo, and we should see his power home from here. He's got a great finish. Let's see what... Out of the water, he was just as successful. In 2003, Jeff was crowned Clio Bachelor of the Year. To do something totally different and, and to get away from the whole swimming aspect, it's, uh, it's quite fun, yeah. Nicknamed Skippy, Hugel even broke his own world record eight times before officially hanging up his goggles earlier this year. Now, when I first walked away from the sport, I, I didn't want anything to do with it at all. So the retired swimmer put on his backpack and went travelling overseas. To have an opportunity like I had to, to go backpacking around the world and have no hassles and, and no pressure on my, me whatsoever um, and to be able to sample all these different foods that I, I was never allowed to sample when I was training. Um, I guess it was, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great experience. But it was a larger than life Skippy who returned home. So I gained a good 35 kilos in 12 months. I, I'd blown out from a, a 30, 34 pants to a 42. When clothes don't fit you anymore when you go to the shops or when you get out of a shower and you look at yourself in the mirror, I mean, yeah, of course, you have low points and you start to get a little bit depressed about it. And the worst was yet to come. In July this year, the 28-year-old was arrested at a Brisbane taxi rank during a drunken night out. Police alleging he hit an officer. Obviously, I'd like to think that everything was blown out of proportion. I never assaulted anyone. I never pushed anyone. I never hit anyone. Um, I've never raised my hand to anyone. The incident sparked the end of his relationship with longtime girlfriend Nikki Gitto, and so began a new chapter in his life. I've got the power. The power. Jeff is back working out at the gym five times a week. He's also studying to be a personal trainer. And it was one of those things where I realised, well, righty I, you know, I was once a world record holder and the best athlete in the world. I can't be, you know, have a look at myself now and I'm an absolute disgrace. Of course, Jeff Hugel isn't the only Olympic star to put on weight in retirement. There have been many others, from Neil Brooks to Hayley Lewis, even Kathy Freeman, each facing their own challenges of adjusting to life outside sport. Hey. G'day mate, how are you? How are you mate? Yeah, good, good to see you. Well. Yeah, thank you very we much. We asked well. fellow retiree and Olympic gold medalist Duncan Armstrong to set Did Skippy straight. You reckon you'll get back down to raceway? Oh, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'll get right back down to raceway. Yeah. I actually put on 40 kilos in about 16 weeks, so I went from about 90 kilos up to 128, 130. We've all seemed to be challenged by our weight because when you come through sport, you're conditioned to eat and eat to your sports requirements. Back in the pool swimming again, um, and, and basically the most important thing is getting my diet back on track. To date, Jeff has lost around 10 kilos. He's also supplementing two meals a day with Xantrax shakes. The idea that you're going to end up looking like him? Yeah, hopefully I'll look a bit better than him. That but, was uh, you a few years back. It, it was, yeah, a few years ago. But um, that looks like the physique for a Clio Bachelor of the Year, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, his chest looks pretty wax, so I'm um, definitely along the same lines. <laughs> So Clear's Bachelor of the Year, he's going to be okay. He might be back, because I don't think anyone's going to marry him. Just to make sure, a current affair will be watching. All right, Jeff, we're going to come and see you again in six weeks. Are you up to the challenge? I am, definitely. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff Hugel, a man on a mission. Kate Donison reporting. And for